What's going on everybody? Saturday and it's beautiful. But got a little bit of a problem. This thing right here. I've had the problem for a while. You go down the road. It's a G56 truck. And all I smell is gear oil. So what's wrong with this one is there's a little orange boot. It's a little orange boot on the top of the shifter. Um, pretty common, I think. They're pretty thin, pretty shitty. Um, they tear. This one tore. Instead of going online and just getting another one, get another orange factory boot that's just going to rip again. Um, I did a little digging and I found what I hope to be as a solution. I'll show you what I got and we'll get started. I don't think it's going to be too bad. I've been into it once before. If anybody's curious, here's the port number. This is the Napa number. Did a little digging and down below I will try to put the I'll try to put the uh, MP number. So I took the MP number, which is a Volkswagen. I think it's just Volkswagen. Anyway, I took the MP number, crossed it to Napa. This is what I got. So let me show you. Let me show you what I got. <laughs> we have these beautiful clamps. Those things suck. We have a CV boot, okay? Top diameter, bottom diameter, it's gonna work. It works great. Uh, I know it's gonna fit. Well, at least I hope it's gonna fit. We got that. Kit also comes with your standard CV grease, which you don't need, and your clip. I don't remember what it's for, but I know what it's going on. So that's that. Um, this is all we need. So we'll go over here. And excuse the mess, this thing's dirty. Because I drive it every day and go to work. That's gonna go there. First thing I need to do, get all my crap out of my cup holders. Get our parts out of there. I know everybody does this. Keep your change and your crap in this thing. Fight with it for a little bit if you want to. Oh, give up. Get your shit everywhere. Get your change and your stuff everywhere. Let's see. Pick all this stuff up. That comes out. This insert comes out. It's also a really really good time to clean all this stuff you know, you get, they get sticky they get dirty really good time to clean it put that down don't need that find some more mystery stuff get that out of there you have to get that out of there with my screwdriver or something anyway what we're gonna need now is there's three screws there's one here there's one here and there's one here and I don't know if it's just mine but two of them are eight millimeter and one of them seven I don't know why but um, that's how it is on mine so I'm gonna go grab some stuff I'm gonna grab my seven my eight and I know I'm I'm probably going to need a 10. I know I'm going to need a 10, so I'll just grab it too. And, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. All right, so I got my tools here. I got a 7 and an 8. These things have been awesome. Might not look like much. I've had them for a long time, and uh, they're really great. Got them from Mac a long time ago, metric nut drivers. So there's my seven. There's an eight. Might be out my 
no, there's another one right here. Another eight. And again, I'm sorry it's dirty, but it uh, it gets used, so it's to be expected. So you get those out, and then this guy should just give it a quick pull. There she is. Get out of there. Set it to the side. Okay, next step is the this shifter boot. Mine just pulls up. Yeah, don't know if it's supposed to. And you can see it's starting to get a little starting to get a little shitty in there. Starting to get a little messy in there. Those, I believe are 13s. 13 millimeter. So I'm gonna go grab that because I forgot that too. Got to bring the old trusty snap-on ratchet. Take the shifter off. Okay, better ways to, better ways to do it. But there's green, and green and stuff. So this is how we're doing it. Take that nut off. Put it in a cup holder. There's two 13s on there. Hold the shifter on. Shifter, get out of your way. Okay, now I have two eights. Then this guy should slide. Get it out of the way. Put it over here with the other stuff. Okay, lastly, I think. Pull the carpet back. You're gonna see a bunch of little eight millimeter bolts to hold this piece down. So we're gonna take care of those. For that, we'll use our little trusty. All right. So we get our six bolts out. We get our ratchet out of there. This then comes out. I don't know, the rose screwed up thing. Anyways, there's our problem. There is my problem. I think it's worse and worse every time I look at it. But. We're gonna fix it today. So, what I need to do is get that pride off of there, get that uh, wipe down, and we'll start putting our new piece on. All right, got our tools, hopefully. This will work, oh, hell yeah, it'll work. It comes off really easy. Anyway, pry this off. Get it off of there, it's junk. Gross, oil soaked, junk. Get on the carpet, either. but it's gonna happen anyways. Just sit there for a second. Get that out of here. Got that off. Take my blue shop towels. Just wipe it up a little bit. I'm not gonna worry about getting everything perfect under here because 
I don't know. It's just not the time. But I want to make sure my mount surface is all clean. Everything's all clean. This little shifter guy can be little shifter guy can be cleaned up. And uh Okay. Grab my boot. Okay. Moment of truth. Okay, well. It's going to work. It's going to work just fine. It's a little, a little bit loose. But anyway, it, I mean, it's not, it's not bad. So, there's one more thing I actually do need to show you guys. These clamps. I don't know. This is going to work. That's going to work. So, well, I was at the store, part store, getting my, my part. I had to buy the right pliers because those clamps, the way they work, like a special plier. Okay. This is the one I got. Again, Napa. There's the number. It's going to work for what we're doing. Let me get them out of there. The way those work is these, you got to pinch them closed, and this little guy keeps it in line. But anyway, this will work. So, what we do, need to do now is come out here and make it work. Just down where you can see. Actually take this back off for a second put my clamp on I'll take the boot off I'm gonna put my clamp on and seeing as how it fits a little bit loose on the actual transmission the way these clamps work is there are teeth if you can see those teeth they go into these square holes square notches okay they grab like that so what we need to do is take our boot we need to get that loose and come around, grab grab a hole that keeps that's already kind of snug on our boot. I'm gonna go one more. Okay. Now this, since this is your this is what you clamp. Okay, see that? That's square. That's what we bought our pliers for because that is going to pinch. You're going to pinch the insides and keep this top flat. So, because we didn't get the proper size, just standard hose clamps, which I probably should have done, this is how we're going to do it. I'm going to set it up tight and hope it holds. Try to get it started. And it's still a little loose so let me try to grab another hole on our clamp okay we've got one more slot on our clamp now we're going to tighten it up we're going to make sure the clamps on the boot all the way around make sure everything's good take our pliers put it on there Okay, now I want, see how, see how it's grabbing that? Two teeth in the middle and the flat spot in the middle. Now, that's going to tighten it up, just like that. Okay, now we have, see how that tightened up? Let's see if I can get you guys in there, see that? Kind of made a, made an example out of it, and it's actually, it's pretty good. It's not going anywhere. So now we need to do it at the top. I need to get it as snug as I possibly can. Because again, we have a lot of slack to pick up here. So we're going to try to grab as much as we can. 
try it again. And I probably will. I wouldn't be surprised if I have to uh, to redo this top one. Because the top one, I'm going to have a really, really difficult time getting that clamp tight enough to do what I need it to do. Because it does have has a lot to suck in. But let's try that. So we got it kind of set up. Spin it around. Get it down. It doesn't need to be that far up. And just like before, we'll grab onto it with our pliers. And hope. Yeah, it's not going to pull it enough. It's not going to pull it enough. So, as you can see, you see that's a little loose. What I should have done is got a normal hose clamp for that. I didn't realize it was going to be loose like that. It'd probably be fine, though. Yeah. Well, we'll run that for a little bit. We'll deal with that for a little bit. And we'll see, see how it goes. It should work. It should work just fine. But, anyway. That's how you do those clamps. See, that's how it's going to look. It's going to pinch them down. Tighten them up. That's a standard, that's a standard CV boot clamp. I know that's going to leak. But, eh. Anyway, we'll try it. I'll try it. Even if it does, it's really not that much work to take this cover off. I can take the cover off, snap that clamp off, put a new one on it, and be just fine. So, I'm gonna start putting everything back together. Kind of reverse to how we took it apart. I'm gonna put my shifter back on next. Doesn't have to go on right now, I'm sure, but I am gonna do it because it's gonna make things easier for me, I think. Probably not, because I'm gonna fight in the cup holders down there, but anyway, that's how I'm gonna do it. Two 15 millimeters. These, you wanna make sure they're tight. You definitely don't want this one on this. They're not so tight, you gotta break that stud. That wouldn't make a good bait. that in there.
use my trusty nut driver again. Again, oh, there's the screw. Fish my screw out. seven in there and again I don't know if this is normal to have one seven and two eights holding the same panel down but that's just got next in there but one seven two eights Cup holder thing that just popped back in there, like so. A little change tray, don't try to fool me. I know Not everybody uses that thing for change and garbage and just accumulates crap. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up my tools, get those out of here, clean up my mess, put everything away, and call it good. So, yeah, that's, that's all it takes. Just change that little boot. Again, you could go on Amazon. You could call your dealer if you really want dealer parts, which there's nothing wrong with dealer parts. Nothing wrong with dealer parts. I just didn't want to go that way. I don't want to do it again. But that's that's what I got. Um, thanks for hanging in there, watching me do that, watching me fight with it, and and uh, hope it works. But um, if you like it, just like the video, subscribe. Uh, follow along comment down below if you want to see anything else, but that is that's us See you next time